what's going on people it's project storm back with another video for you all today or actually tonight because it's night where i am right now um i just wanted to bring you a video today because i know there are some people that could be out there having issues with a, a particular title like raise two for example now, Raise 2 is a great game from what I'm hearing. Um, I have friends that's tried it on, on Xbox, um, told me great things about it. So I decided, hey, I'm going to go ahead and grab this game. Now, I actually purchased the game a while back. And um, I'm hearing that it's on sale right now on in the, in the Stadia store. So if you are thinking about checking out the game, head on over there and uh, go ahead and purchase that. I'm not sure exactly what the price is, but we can take a peek right here. So let's see what it's looking like. All right, let's see. Okay, Bethesda Games right here. Here it is. Bethesda's having a, a, a game sale. So you can come over here and get Doom Eternal Standard Edition for 30 bucks. Uh, Raise 2 right here. As you see, I've already purchased it, so I don't know exactly what that price is. But I'm sure somebody could uh, could help you out with that, or you could go ahead and research that when you have a chance. Uh, Wolfenstein, I have that as well. Great game, having a lot of fun with that game. Um, it can be played co-op, so if anybody wants to jump in and help a brother out, that is fine with me. Just uh, add me at Project Storm, and we can hop into that Wolfenstein Young Blood. Um, here it is, Deluxe Edition right here for 16 bucks. Wow, it's not a bad deal at all. Doom 64 right there. And there you have it. So that's not, not a bad sell, actually. You know, especially if you haven't jumped on any of these titles. Doom Eternal. <laughs> I can't even speak highly enough about this game right here, y'all. I've finally completed it, and it is a magnificent game. I will give it a 10 out of 10. You know, it, it's one of the games, Doom Eternal is one of the games that runs absolutely flawlessly on Stadia. But we're not going to highlight that right now. We'll do that another time. I, I have already made content for you to check out uh, of me playing Doom Eternal. So feel free to check that out whenever you get a chance. Right now, our focus is going to be on Raise 2 because I know that myself and others I know were having issues um, just getting the game to launch. Or open it wouldn't it would it would act as if it was going to start and then it would just go to the uh unable to launch message and that's not what we want to see you know what i mean so i've uh reached out to the good old people at at stadia stadia support who's always been phenomenal i, I can't help but praise stadia uh stadia customer support i mean it's it's since i've gotten this been a part of this platform I have got nothing but top tier customer service. And that's that's something that's no secret. You know what I mean? Um, but let's jump into the game right now. Right? But the first the first thing we want to do is we're gonna go backwards. We're gonna go ahead and um go into privacy settings real quick, and I'll walk you through all of this, so don't worry about that. Uh, we're gonna turn this right here on. Okay, and then I'll explain all of this later on because this right here is the reason why you may be having some of the issues that you're having opening games. Now, so what we're going to do is go back to the home. We're going to try to launch this game. All right. And the problem that I was facing, and it's been like this for about two weeks. This was before the sale. Remember, I've, I've already purchased the game months ago. So for the new people that's jumping on, trying to grab this game, um, or getting it for the sale price and everything, and you just want to jump into it, you may be running into an issue opening the game. So that's what I'm trying to help you with right now. Now, I can, I can already safely say that it's not, see, right there, there it is, the glitch. Your game had a glitch. We opened the game to play. All right, so we're going to kick, um, click back to Stadia. And it's so crazy that the issue is right here. So what you want to do is if you're having that issue and if you're, if you're unable to open the game, okay, this is what I learned. This is what Stadia Support shared with me. The great people that they are, they shared with me that all I needed to do was 
try to go to my go to my avatar, right? Go then, and, and you have to be on a laptop or a PC. So okay, just use Google Chrome and uh, or or uh, Microsoft Edge or whatever. And you want to go to your avatar, go down to Stadia settings, right? You want to go to privacy right here. Okay, you scroll all the way down until you see games using your friends friends list, right? Now, what happens right here says choose if a publisher can can use your friend list to offer you social feature features in their games, like seeing your friends online status and inviting friends to play. If you have a game open now, you might need to reopen it um, to apply this setting. OK, so keep that in mind. So what I want to do is go down right here. I want to unclick this right here where it says Bethesda Softworks. Now, as you see, there's other publishers right here. Bungie, Drool, Unit 2, Rebellion, for example. If you're having issues on these games, it may be relating to um, that friend list feature. All right. So now we're going to go back to home. We're going to launch the game. I can safely say that the game is going to boot up the very first time. Which is crazy, by the way. I had, I mean, you don't understand. I, I restarted my, my Chromecast Ultra. I restarted every device I had, my phone, my laptop. You know, just to try to get this game to work, but nothing worked. All I can say is thank goodness for Stadia support. Sorry if that was too loud. It's out of my control. I apologize for that. All right. So right here, I've already gotten much further than I was before. So it's safe to say that the game is going to load all the way through. Okay, we're going to hit my spacebar button on the keyboard. You can press any button, it doesn't matter. And I'm able to continue where I left off. I haven't gotten real far, so you don't have to worry about spoilers or anything like that. Um, it's an open world type of game. So I'm just going to drive around for a little bit just to show you all that things work. If anybody's wondering, I am, see my connection right now is excellent. I'm set at 4K. Okay. Um right here also like this is right this right here is the stadia plus app or whatever or extension it's the stadia plus extension that you can add to to be able to change these settings like like what you're seeing right here so i've selected vp9 all right and 4k resolution you don't necessarily have to do this but if you want to force 4k resolution or any other resolution let me see if the other ones will come up right here 1440p is right there for you 1080p 720p experimental right here okay and i'll get much in, i'll get into those just let me know if you you all would like to see more of a breakdown of those particular settings and everything and i could try to do that for you but what i want is the highest tier that good old crisp clean 4k all right so let's go back. Shout out to Froggy, Rick Tone, J Classic, Devil D, Club Stadia. What's going on, people? You see them out here getting it in late at night. Real Stadia gamers, y'all. All right. So just like that, into the game. I'm going to just try to use one hand on the keyboard just to move around to let you know that I'm really playing. Let's stop right here. Not that you don't believe I'm playing. Let's turn right. We're gonna run right into these guys. We're gonna jump over this hump right here. And we're gonna flip on over. Look at that. Nice dust effects. The game's beautiful, y'all. Nice lens flare. Dope. Really dope. Now, I'm hearing that this game is great. I really need to go ahead and put some more time into it, and that's what I was really trying to do. So uh, stay tuned for a future Raise 2 video. Now, that's all I have for you all. 
It's not going to be a long video at all. I just wanted to bring that to you all. Hopefully that was able to help you all out. If you feel like I felt, then this should put a smile on your face. And that's what that's what my aim was in making this video. So I make uh, just to let you all know, you know, feel free to subscribe if you would like um, turn native notifications on because I always, always go live at different times of day. Whenever I have a thought. If I, if I ever feel like jumping on Stadia, I do just that. And I will start a live stream. I'll start a live stream at any time, y'all. I mean, any time of day. I might start one in five minutes after this video is done. But keep in mind, if you do want to see more, if you like what I have to offer, visit the channel, see some of the Stadia content that I've already done. And I also do content for other platforms as well. Right now, we're going to stay focused on Stadia. But, um... Yeah, y'all, I hope you appreciate this video. All I say to you all is keep it safe, keep it positive, and keep it gaming. You all have a good one.